Hi guys, thank you for joining me for Prayerful Meditations. So today we're actually going to talk about a book that I have not talked about before. Um, I have been talking to a couple different people during the COVID-19 uh, shelter in place and a lot of people are struggling with that loss of control or that illusion of that loss of control or they're struggling just sitting and being with themselves. Um, one of the issues when you have more time on your hand and less distractions is that you do sit with yourself a little bit more and that's when those insecurities tend to creep up and it can be very difficult for individuals when those insecurities creep up so i was able to get this book sometimes it's a little difficult to get books but uh this was actually on the new york times bestseller list so i don't think the people i'm talking to are the only ones having issues with this or at least it was on the best time the seller was sitting in 2017. Um, and this book is called Uninvited. It's by Lisa Turkhurst. Don't know if I said that last name correctly at all. But it's when you feel less than left out or lonely. I think a lot of people are feeling those insecurities, feeling less than, really struggling to, to be with themselves right now. And one of the things that she says in this book is she says, that there are two core fears that a lot of people have, and that is fear of being abandoned and fear of losing one's identity. Now, our faith is able to reassure us during these with these fears because God never abandons us, and our identity, no matter what stage of life we're in, is always the same. We're a child of God. So whether our identity is as a daughter or a son or as a father or a mother or a sister or a brother or an employee or a business owner, the one thing that is solid through all of it is you are a child of God. But the other thing I really like about this book is that instead of just saying that to us and expecting us to absorb it fully, is she gives us some questions to ask ourselves so that we're able to reason it out in our head and, and it helps to stick with us a little bit more solid if we can reason it out in our heads. And she says, here are the three questions that you can really think about, meditate on, you can journal on. Start out with a deep breath. Remind yourself you're in the presence of God. Outline a cross to center yourself. Um, light a candle, whatever it may be. And then meditate on three questions. Is God good? Is God good to me? And do I trust God to be God? And right now during COVID-19, it's a little harder to trust God to be God. But we can do it. In fact, I think we have to. So I hope you're able to really work this through, even if it's not something that you normally have issues with, or if it's something that you don't really identify as a problem that you have, I do think asking the questions, is God good? Is God good to me? And do I trust God to be God? Is a nice way to help to strengthen that bond with God, that relationship with God, and also to strengthen um, your faith, strengthen your belief, strengthen your trust. So I hope you're able to do that. Again, I'll say the questions one more time. Is God good? Is God good to me? Do I trust God to be God? And I have not finished the book yet, but I will. And any other tidbits that I find that I think are really good, I'll share with you guys. Thank you.